What is up guys, this is Space Kryptonite, here to bring you the legacy of a man that was the peanut butter and jelly of a Robocraft sandwich. His impact on Robocraft was one that will carry on in our memories. Ladies and gents, we are here to talk about the legacy of Il Drognin. So what makes Drognin so lovable and how did he connect the world of Robocraft? Let's start off with his origin. Orkin Adsoy, socially known as Drognan, was born in the labs of Free Jam around April 2014. He wasn't given the spotlight of a community manager. He joined as Free Jam's Japan-facing PR manager, where he handled social media of Robocraft and translated them for the Japanese. He helped Robocraft reach the eyes of Japanese gamers, led community interactions at the Multiplay Insomnia Games Festival, and created a Japanese Twitter account for Robocraft known as Robocraft JP. This Twitter account was a big task that Draghi helped bring to life. Robocraft JP received over 300 followers in its first day and grew over 25,000 views per week. Drognan has a love for both the Western and Japanese nerd culture and was excelling his task. Free Jam promoted him to become Robocraft's community management coordinator around July 2014. He managed tons of Robocraft social media sites from places like Reddit, Discord, the official Robocraft forums, Twitter, and Twitch. He was knowledgeable in knowing how to handle the community and shared his love for Robocraft. He provided a voice for any type of gamer even if they were toxic. Their voices were heard. He provided guidelines for admins and mods to help keep Robocraft a safe place to live. He was the face of Robocraft memes. He helped Lu Louis stop hugging him. I am like trying to talk here. <clears throat> he helped brought about the love with his robo streams on Twitch. El Drago streams were glorious. Nah. It's like I was born for this. Boy, pour me some grog. You words. like some grog? Oh, I think I spilled some. It's fine. Don't you worry. You spilled a lot less than I'm going to. <laughs> it helped provide real-time communication, funny moments, and a true connection. We got to see people like Rick Art Jammer, Jack733, Nixel, Cluley, Gotchar, Baron Twitter, Mark, Hannah, Haynes, Left of Never, and much more. At last, all was great, but Draghi has grown. It was December 5th, 2016, where El Drago would depart from Free Jam. He explained that he will be moving to Climax Studios as a producer for an unannounced title. Free Jam shares an office with Climax, so he won't be far from his fellow jammers. Being a producer is something Drognan has longed for. The opportunity wasn't there for a while, and Mark kept his eyes open for him. His smell at the Free Jam offices will be one they can't forget. The love and relationship that Free Jam devs and Drognan has was one like a family. His over two year legacy is one that will not be forgotten in the Robocraft community. The torch has been passed to left of never. We love you, Drognan, and will continue to support you and provide memes for your unannounced game. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Feel free to express your emotions in the comments, but I want to encourage you to follow his dreams on Drognan's Twitter. I am sure it will take time before the game is actually playable, but rest assured, Drognan will keep us posted on Twitter. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Crypt the Night logging out. I will catch you guys later. A lot of people's go to is hacks. You know, and it's. I got called a hacker the other day. Did you? Yes! I was with Clue and some other people. And, uh, he called me a hacker and then he started like straight up talking to me. And like, he's, like, he's but, like really words. hardcore. And yeah. I was like, dude, what are you doing? He carried on. I was like, alright, mate, do you, do you enjoy having your account? And he's just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>